What's up guys? Today in this video, we're going to be learning how to play fetch with your dog. Playing fetch with your dog is an activity I recommend anyone with a dog to do daily if you can, especially if you have a working breed. Working breed dogs in general have so much drive and energy and they love to please people. Fetch is the perfect two-in-one combo to meet those needs. Now, don't get me wrong, all dogs could benefit from fetch. Fetch is one of those things that provides both mental and physical exercise for your dogs, and that is super key in being a dog owner, is to make sure you're meeting those dogs' needs, both mentally and physically. Now, real quickly, before I explain to you guys how to play fetch with your dog, or at least, you know, explain how I taught my dog to play fetch, I want to define what the game of fetch is. It seems simple, you know, you throw a ball, the dog brings it back to you, but there's a few steps that you have to ensure. One, you have to make sure you throw the ball. <laughs> then you have to make sure the dog goes straight to the ball. You have to make sure the dog picks it up right away and brings it straight back to you. Now, Cyber is not the perfect dog at this. His drive still could be better for when it comes to fetch. However, someone asked me recently, is it possible for Dobermans to play fetch? And it totally is. This clip was filmed back in August. So if you guys want an updated clip of me using these exact steps, religiously i can give you an updated clip on his drive for fetch so when i said cyber wasn't perfect at fetch this is a really good example of what i mean he sees the awesome frisbee throw he goes straight to where it is he even picks it up but he kind of gets distracted maybe it was because of cammy but either way cyber did not bring the frisbee back it's like where cyber he was in the back where the frisbee landed and i want to show you guys exactly how i fixed this I started with drop it and bring it here. I started this inside because he's more comfortable in there, so I just had more of his attention. And speaking of that, I just kept hyping him up with the toy. I would give it to him and then I would let it go. And when he dropped it, he got a reward. Now you can do praise or treats, whatever works best for your dog. Then just slowly work your way up to throwing the toy, you know, maybe five feet, then 10 feet, then 15 feet. Then they'll start to bring it back to you, drop it, and then you reward. After he got the hang of bringing the ball back to me after a light toss, I started just hiding the ball. You can see it hidden behind the table to the right. And watch what he does when he finds it. He sees it. The first thing he does is come straight to me and drops the ball. And of course, Cammy kicks it away. Now, it's really important to be consistent with your training and to reward with lots of treats. He had a really good session today, so he's chewing on a chicken bone right now. After your dog consistently brings the ball back to you inside, then work on doing it outside. Again, start very short distance. Make sure when the dog grabs the ball, you're the first thing it sees when it turns around. Get super animated if you have to. Now that they're consistently coming back to you outside at short distance, you can work on some really far distant throws. Good luck. Hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, seriously, just put it down in the comments or message me on Instagram like this person did, and I'll make a whole video dedicated to your question. You know, I try to pack this with as much information as I can. If you guys got any helpful tips, make sure you hit that like button. And if not, hey, ask a question and maybe I can answer it. Uh, if you guys like this content, make sure you subscribe because I'm dropping daily videos this week. All right, bye. Appreciate it.